आज हम बात कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट के बारे में नमस्ते एंड वेलकम आज हम बात कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट के बारे में वॉट इज ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट इज एन अम्ब्रेला टर्म अंडर द आई टी एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फॉर हॉस्टाइल बिहेवियर्स यूज बाय ऑनलाइन यूजर्स टू हैरिस थ्रेटन और मलिशियसली एम्बेरस अ पर्सन और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट कैन बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वर्बल इंसाइट्स सेक्शुअल रेफरेंसेस और सोशल शेमिंग एम दट वायलेटिंग अ पर्सन राइट टू लिव वायलेंस फ्री एंड पार्टिसिपेट डेमोक्रेटिकली इन ऑनलाइन इंटरेक्शन ये ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट वाली प्रॉब्लम बच्चे बूढ़े या जवान लोगों के साथ किसी के साथ भी हो सकती है यही नहीं बिजनेसेस को भी सतर्क रहना है ये जरूरी है बिकॉज इफ इट इज नॉट हैंडल प्रॉपरली इट कैन हैव सीरियस कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑनलाइन हेरसमेंट में कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बढ़ जाती है बिकॉज आपके साथ हेरसमेंट करने वाला बंदा या बंदी डायरेक्ट इन पर्सन उस पर्सन से कोई कांटेक्ट नहीं है और इस बात में प्रॉब्लम ये है कि रिजॉल्व करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है बिकॉज देर इज अ डिस्कनेक्ट बिटवीन द हेरसर एंड द सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज देर इज अ स्क्रीन टू डिस्टेंस देम सेल्स फ्रॉम द टारगेट तो पीपल बिकम बोल्ड इनफ टू इंसल्ट और हैरस द टारगेट in the workplace employees need to be aware of signs of online harassment hr managers and top management need to run training programs that teach employees about the many types of online abuse and create an awareness so let's talk about some of the common ways in which online harassment in the workplace may be happening wo aapke sath bhi ho sakta hai तो क्या है कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करें कि आई एम बींग हैरिस्ट ऑनलाइन वेल द फर्स्ट वन इज टॉकिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन इश्यू वेन अ को वर्कर इज कीपिंग ट्रैक ऑफ एवरीथिंग अ कलीग मे बी डूइंग ऑन सोशल मीडिया और थ्रू ब्लॉग पोस्टिंग्स समटाइम्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ को वर्कर्स हैव इवन क्रिएटेड अ शेमिंग और इंसल्टिंग ब्लॉग आर्टिकल अबाउट अ कोलीग to annoy him or her virtual harassment is another type of abuse when a teammate uses social media sites like facebook or twitter or as we call x to send unpleasant remarks or texts to another coworker sexting is another form of harassment where a coworker may send a video or photographs to a coworker knowing that the recipient will be upset other types of online harassment include catfishing have you heard of that so catfishing refers to stealing of another individual's complete identity online so this abuser may take information images date of birth geographical location and pretend it is their own and create a new identity for themselves now this coworker may do that to take revenge harass their target or you know use that identity to commit fraud you never know so we have to be really really careful doxing is another way of online harassment when personal details of a person are publicized online so आपका नाम एड्रेस टेलीफोन नंबर सारा कुछ ऑनलाइन डाल देते हैं एंड देर एनकरेजिंग अदर पीपल टू कॉल यू ई मेल यू और विजिट यू एट योर एड्रेस एंड अब्यूज यू ह्यूमिलेट यू और हार्म यू फ्यू मंथस अगो आई एक्चुअली वर्क विद द सी ई ओ ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप हु इज अ विक्टिम ऑफ डॉक्सिंग सो डॉक्सिंग इट सेल्फ इज नॉट इलीगल यू नो इट इट falls under stalking or harassment because of the degree of harassment that she went through i will name the ceo rati for name sake it's not her true name 
um, it's a false name for an amenity purposes. So Rati had refused franchise offers from a group of high net worth individuals and she had refused them. So she had decided ki sara kuch check karke usne decide kiya tha ki in koi humko franchise offer nahi milni. So since that time she was starting to get cyber stalked and harassed online. Now she is making the connection between the two and it took a long time for her to connect the dots and for the police to understand. But this was an attempt to humiliate her and make her company look bad. You know they would post negative comments on her website and on open internet forums. Later her friends and even her colleagues started receiving requests from a Facebook account bearing her picture and a slightly different domain. So it was Rati, it was Rati with a double I. R-A-T-I ni, R-A-T-I-I. Now this fake profile even had her home address and the pictures of her street and the exterior of her house. Now Rati thought she could make sure that her real profile was distinguished by changing her photo on her profile. But the perpetrators also kept changing and updating her fake profile with the new pictures. This fake profile was used to say bad things about her, about her company and some of their staff. There were also rumors being spread about she being in inappropriate relationships with other company executives. Rati went through a very hard time, feeling depressed and isolated, having to struggle with ways to keep her company afloat and ensure she did not get physically harmed in any way because logo ko address pata tha. People could come and you know knock on her door and abuse her or do something. So she really was scared. I remember Rati talking about the support she had received from her friends and family and the gratitude she felt for the action from the internet platforms once they were notified. But one of the things that stuck with her was that people asked her why she did just didn't take her own Facebook profile down and go offline completely. Well, Rati said she refused to do that because if she had deleted her profile, the only one left online would be that of the harasser and that would let him win and would have left her looking bad to the world and may have ended her future of a young startup company. So online harassment is a serious and potentially life-threatening issue with real repercussions to the victims and their personal and private life. When our sense of emotional safety in the world is compromised, so too is our psychological health. In the case discussion above, I have mentioned a woman, but I want to clearly state that men are also targets of online harassment. Men at work in India and abroad also get targeted due to their caste, English speaking abilities, color of their skin, or even their place of birth. I have worked with many individual men who have faced humiliation, isolation and loss of jobs due to online harassment. The sum and substance of all this is that online harassment is a reality and is on the increase as the world is getting digital. The blame solely lies on the harassers, no matter what they say about being provoked. Online harassment is a crime and it deserves to be treated and dealt with as we would with any other crimes. Friends and family can always offer support when you're being harassed online. Talking to them may help to absolutely keep your emotional well-being alive and feel well supported. Now you can do a lot of other things that can help you provide counseling support and there are organizational systems to stop harassment by colleague. Practicing good self-care at the moment can sometimes help you cope. 
Self-care includes taking care of your emotional health. A therapist can help in that. They are compassionate and supportive, understanding in a safe space. Often, these therapists will have suggestions on how to deal with harassment. So reach out, take help, and make sure you are safe. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, anything you feel you, I could add to this topic, please send them to me. To remain connected with me, do click and subscribe and like this video. This is B. Mahankar signing off. As always, I truly believe employee wellness leads to successful business. Thank you.